video is going to be another flip through as I look inside another piece of curriculum that we have on our shelf. This is one that, to be right down honest, you guys, I forgot I had it. <laughs> I went through so much work to organize and really have everything out that, that I had when I was picking our curriculum for this year, and I forgot I had this. Now, that's not to say that I would have necessarily use this, but this would have been a contender for us had I remembered that I already had it. <laughs> I typically get a bunch of BJU Press materials from a local friend, and I just did not remember that she gave this to me. Um, this is the Science for Grade 4. This is the third edition, and this is the student book. Now, there is a an activity manual and an activity manual answer key. There is a teacher edition. There are tests and test answer keys. You could have a whole table full of things here to teach this course. And I'm just going to submit to you, if I was teaching this course, this is all I'd buy. And I'm going to show you why as I flip through the book. Now, this is kind of small as it, as it stands with, uh, for a student book. This is, you know, um, just the right size for little hands to hold. I've always liked that about the BJU Science and Inherited Studies. Their books are kid size. You know, they're not big, you know, that are fill a whole kid's lap. <laughs> these are really nice, and I feel like the kids can hold these and it not be cumbersome for them to read. Like I said, this is the student book. It's a soft cover. And I'll just let you look here real quick. This is the contents. This is actually meant to be a semester course or done, I think, three, two or three days a week. It is not um, set up for 180-day lessons unless you really break the lessons down a lot. Um, there is a schedule if you buy the teacher's edition of, of when to do the lessons. But I'm going to show you, I think this is laid out very predictably how you can make up a schedule without that, okay? So, now that you've seen that, this is full color. There's a mix of illustrations and real photography. Let's see some real photography here in a minute, I promise. Here you go. So we've got a mixture of both, all right? And I'm just gonna show you this chapter here, flip through the first chapter, and then I'll let you know how I would use this course and why I think you really don't need anything but this book to do science for the year. Now, if I was using this, I would probably do science three days a week with this book, and that would uh, take me to the end of the school year. Okay, and I'm almost there. That was chapter one, okay? So, I would guess that that would take about three weeks to do, you know, depending on how many days a week you do science. This is how I would do it. All right, so, and I, I'm actually considering this uh, going forward for my daughter. Um, I have all of the science levels um, from before, so I'm actually thinking of, of maybe using one of these for my daughter after um, the beginner's series of God's Design for Life, or not, or God's, yeah, God's Design. I don't think it's God's Design for Life. Well, whatever it is. <laughs> Once the beginner levels of that are done, I'm considering using this with my daughter. So this is what I would do. Um, this would be um, the start of a chapter. So I would read this up until this right here. It says quick check. I'll just bring this up so you can see that. It says quick check. When I reach one of those, that would be a lesson for me. Okay, so that's one lesson. Okay, and then, yes. So then this would be the start of lesson two. Okay, there's a quick check, so I'd stop here. And then on day three, We'd have an activity. This is why I don't think you need anything else, you guys, because the activities are actually right in here. It does instruct you to go to the activity manual and fill in your findings, fill in your hypothesis, but you could easily do that in a notebook with paper. I looked at the activity manual, and I don't think it's anything that's absolutely necessary that you couldn't recreate on notebook paper. So this would be, oh, what did I say? I gotta go back and count my days. There's day one. <laughs> Day two, day three, day four, another activity. Day five, yes, day five is a quick check. Day six would end here. Day seven, another activity. Day eight. Day nine. 
and then day 10. Now I might actually take two days to do this right here. This is kind of like the chapter review. There's the vocabulary up here. I can envision me doing some vocabulary work either through Quizlet or maybe having my, my student um, write some definitions out or do some matching. I could um, also see myself doing some fill in the blank, either you know creating my own uh, review or just doing this orally and leaving out um, like for example this is a, a key idea oops a key idea of the the chapter so I would say blank have jointed legs separate bodies and da, 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 da. and then they would have to say oops then they would have to say arthropods so I, I envision myself using that as kind of like an oral quiz um, and going over the vocabulary maybe on one day and then maybe on another day having them do this writing exercise to kind of sum up what they've learned and answer the prompt here. So if I took two days to do this, I believe I said that would take 11 days to do. And if you did science three days, that would be about three and a half-ish weeks to do. So um, I don't really think that, like I said, the, the teacher's manual is necessary for me personally. I do have a degree in math and science, and I would feel comfortable teaching this level of science to my student, uh, once I get into the middle school and high school levels, I probably would get the teacher's guide. But at this level, I would feel confident just reading through the material, answering um, or having my child answer these quick check questions and doing the activities as they're spelled out in here and, and call it a day. It is a very engaging book. I, I think that the, uh, the pictures are very... Um, uh, appealing to, to kiddos. They've got some great charts in here. I just think this is incredibly well done and I'm, I'm a little surprised that I forgot I had it. But this is this is definitely um, back on the table for me um, as far as uh, considerations for future science because this is uh, really all contained. No additional worksheets or anything like that would be needed uh, in my personal opinion to do this course and I feel like the biblical worldview is is solid. The uh, the content, uh, scientifically speaking, is solid, and it's it's incredibly approachable. It's it's basically a read aloud that has built in activities. So I wanted to show it to you because it was on my shelf, because it's something I haven't shown you before, and because I know a lot of you uh, are going to reach the point in your homeschool year where you say, you know what what we have is not working and we need to make a switch. Now I've, I recently did a video about that, about when to switch, how long to use something that's not working. I will leave that link below. I, of course, I don't recommend anyone making changes, you know, after a week or two, but after, you know, uh, six or eight weeks, nine weeks, something like that, you, you might just figure out that what you have for science is not working. And I really think that using the BJU Science student book in this approach would give you a very delightful year of science based on God's word with plenty of hands-on activity and very low stress for mama. So I wanted to show it to you and let you know that it's something that I am considering again for future years. And uh, I'd love to hear from you below if you've used uh, the BJU Science. I love to hear your feedback on this kind of stuff uh, because I learn from you guys as much as you say that 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 you learn from this channel, and I'm thankful to hear that. I learn from you all when you when you leave comments below about your experiences. So please go ahead and do that. Go ahead and like this video if you like uh, seeing inside uh, curricula like this and hearing how I plan to use it or how um, I my how I, I might use it, <laughs> how I would suggest to use it. But um, if you like this sort of thing, go ahead and hit the like button. Consider subscribing because I'm going to do more videos like this as I find more and more things on my shelf that I forgot that I had. Oh, I can't believe it. So I'm going to wrap this up and uh, I'll catch you in the comment section and see you in the next video.